Emily Kartu. My name is Lisa Ochoa. My name is Nicole Marie. My name is Nadine Salais. And you are watching News Around Everywhere Now. Welcome back to our newscast. And today's topic is on immigration. Immigration has affected a lot of things. And Ravenstein had some laws of migration, which include the following. Every migration flow generates a return of, or counter <coughs> migration. The majority of migrants move a short distance. Migrants who move longer distances tend to choose big city destinations. Urban residents are often less migratory than inhabitants of rural areas. Families are less likely to make international moves than young adults. Other influences include migration stage by stage, migration and technology, economic conditions. The United States has more immigration than emigration, which means that more people are coming into the country than leaving the country. The pool factors of the United States is mostly economic, which means that people are looking for jobs and education. The data we've co collected from UNHCR is that there are 68.5 million forcibly displaced people worldwide. Push factors include conflict, drought, famine, and extreme religious activity. While pull factors are for economic opportunities, jobs, and the promise of a better life. An example of this would be people from Asia being forcibly moved to the US. Some of the, most of those people, the group of people, are young, single. Which are looking for more job opportunities in the United States and a better education. Obstacle is the Atlantic Ocean, which they have to cross. That's all we have for today. Thank, Thank you. People coming into the United States. They're probably